Hey there everyone, Hatesh here back again with another video in JavaScript course. So let's move forward and of course in case you haven't visited Learn Code Online, make sure you go ahead and visit that. Now let's come back onto the series. Now I know this series is a little bit different from your other series or whenever you have tried to learn programming in other books or regular ways. Here we are trying to just make sure that we are learning exactly the topic which we are about to use. It's not a regular thing like after the loops only function should come and then after the class should come. No, it's not like that. It's a little bit different module and I have personally prepared it so that learning becomes fun and don't worry, everything will be covered up at all. So let's move forward and eventually in the series we'll be coming back to this Trello project quite a lot because the whole idea is to learn everything with the help of these Trellos. By the way, if you don't know, Trellos are like modern world to-dos. I like to create to-do project every once in a while. It gives you the whole idea of the things. So as we will be learning more, pro more things about like functions and uh, objects and all of that, we will be coming back onto this Trello, Trello to upgrade our knowledge and implement that. So, so far we have learned about the arrays, not much. A lot of topics are still remaining in the arrays. We have learned about two types of loop, the for each loop and the for loop, okay? So I'm gonna be doing one thing for you and you have to do the other things as an assignment. So let's just select all of that and hit command slash to comment all of that. So we're gonna be creating a to-do list here. Now notice the goal is not right now to run everything from the terminal as we'll be progressing other further onto the web and other stuff you will be able to bring up exact same knowledge in the web or mobile or wherever you wish. So let's just have a simple constant here and I'm gonna call this as my two to-dos. There we go. And we're gonna be starting with an empty. Obviously you don't want to populate any general to-dos in here. This is gonna be how exactly we'll be building up our application later on. And right now I'll be using one of the many method that comes with the arrays and which is push. Okay. Now I will be giving you a little bit assignment that will be using different methods. So make sure you're prepared for that and you have watched the previous videos here. So let's just say, and we are gonna be pushing some values in this array, it's really simple. Something like by bread, and I'm gonna be pressing Command Shift D. I'm using the sublime text uh, filters here. You can write the whole thing as well. And uh, let's just say record videos for YouTube. That's my fun part and uh, let's have a couple of more and we are gonna say something like go to gym and i'm pretty regular this year this year actually i'm nailing it so there we go now we have an array uh, completely emptied and we populated it now the next thing is obviously we want to loop through it so that we can print it so we're going to be using my to do's and just like that we'll be using for each method for usually arrays, I prefer for each, but for some other cases, I prefer the for loop, but there are others as well. So there we go. And there we go. So this is how it works. Obviously you have to write a function. Now you know how to write a function. In this, we'll be writing a function which doesn't have a name. It is usually known as callback functions. We'll be exploring that later on, no worries. So we'll be simply saying, hey, this is a function, a pair of parentheses and a curly braces, hit enter to make sure everything is nicely indented. Okay, so obviously we know how things works. We get a to-do back. You can name this variable whatever you like, totally on you. You also get an index back. You don't need to name it index. You can simply call it I, no problem, totally on you. And then we are gonna be simply logging it. For the logging, I'm gonna be calling back my old friend, which is these ticks. So we're gonna say, I'm gonna be saying something like this, your, and then let's just use these guys. And something like this. And I'm gonna be saying your, uh, or something like this, your task number. And then I can use a dollar sign, something like this. And I can simply say index. Then I can use is, and there we go. Have these, come on, I can write that shortly. And there we go, and there we go, to do. So there we go, pretty basic, pretty easy stuff. We have successfully created a simple application which can take our to-dos and can print them up. Obviously we are using push and all these things, nobody uses that like in a real world application, but surely we will be reaching there very soon. Notice when you started the series, you had absolutely no idea with the JavaScript, at least what I presumed, and then we are moving further. So let's just open this up, terminal here, and we'll be saying node and then trello.js, let's run this, and there we go, bybrid, record videos for YouTube, go to gym. And perfectly fine, but there's a slight problem, your task number is zero. No, nope, we don't want that. So obviously that's a quick fix. We can simply say plus one and I think it's fixed. 
and let's run that again and there we go your task number one two and three so there we go now comes up the interesting part which is assignment so i want you to create exact same to do's but instead of pushing the things uh, on to like this time we are pushing it from the bottom i want you to create a simple to do app in which you can push the things from the top that's number one thing and the second thing is you will not be using the for each loop i know that's simple that's easy but you will not be using the for each loop you will be using the for loop to do exactly same if you have watched the previous video i think there should be no problem at all in doing that if you do the assignment notify me in the comment section or to my facebook page and of course you can always visit learncodeonline.in so that's it for this video and i'm going to surely catch you up in the next one